Well, happy Sunday morning, everyone. Hi, Clint. Um, I'm going to be paper crafty for a little while. Yes, I will be Clint for a little bit. As you can see from the thumbnail, the thumbnail, that's what I'm making. Yeah, Clint, I don't, I don't want people on my Facebook. I just want my family. I don't want any more. I don't have any friends on there anymore. Just family and like my relatives. And my two moderators. That's it. That's all I have on my Facebook. So if you need to talk to me, you're going to have to just send me a message. Anyway, um, I'm going to be making a teacup and a teapot. And this is through a company called Dreaming Tree. Um, they are SVG. These are all three-dimensional. Hey, Crystal Castle. I am making a teapot and a teacup. Um, I sent Jeff to Michael's yesterday to get me some paper from, um, Michael's and I got a few paper packs. So, cause I don't have a whole lot of paper other than my Stamperia. I have lots of that, but I don't want to use it <laughs> for this. Anyway, it's called a company called, it's called Dreaming Tree. The, uh, link to the company is in I'm, I might make the vase. I haven't got it cut out yet, though. I have only just the teacup and the teapot cut out. So the link's below. If you wanted to purchase this, it's it's a file you have to buy. It is so pretty, Crystal. Oh, my God. I'm so pumped about making this. So these pieces here. One thing I want to tell you, and I learned it the hard way, is I wasted two sheets of white cardstock. Right here. <laughs> it's already got coffee in it, though. Sorry. It was an already made cup. <coughs> Gosh. Anyway, Crystal, you are going to get it. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, when you get the files and you upload them to your Cricut Design Space, one thing you want to keep in mind, and don't do what I do, just automatically load them on your, your canvas and then hit make it. You can't do that. What you have to do is click on each. There's a whole group of things that you have to load into Cricut Design Space. And when I make my next project, I'll show you exactly what I mean, where I made a boo-boo. Now, this particular piece has score marks. It also has cutting marks. So when I went to print to cut this out, all it did was the score marks. It didn't cut the actual thing out. And I was like, what the hell? So I went back into my canvas. I clicked on this actual image. You have to attach it. Please remember to attach it. If you don't attach the two pieces, it's only going to either score it or it's just going to cut it out and you're not going to have any scores. So now it's literally scored and cut. So remember that. When you see something that has score lines on your project that you get from them, you see these little ticks. They look like perforated um, lines. Make sure you attach those pieces. So in the teacup, I had to attach a lot of pieces because this one here also has score lines and you had to attach that. Um, I don't know what else I had to attach, but anyway, no here nor there. So first and foremost, we're going to ink up all the edges. So I got this pretty, pretty like it's a vintagey rose color, vintagey pink. And I'm just going to give all of these. I hate white edges, and I think he inks up all of his, and it looks bloody amazing. So. You know, linking up anything is always going to look really beautiful. Especially, you don't want to see this white edge on this purple. So this collection here had all purples and pinks and some teal. God, this paper pack was gorgeous. 
and it was from Michael's. The only thing is, is it's not a double-sided paper, socks. Some of them were. But um, I, I got to show you these paper packs. I just love the, the pink foil. Now, <coughs> I think instead, let me just show you some of these paper packs I got yesterday. Oh my gosh, they're just so gorgeous. So, don't want to wreck anything here. Um, yeah. All right. So, these are the pages I used from the paper pack. And they're left over, but there's still lots of pieces on here because some projects only call for a little piece. So, I don't want to throw those out. So, this paper pack did not come with this. I, I ordered. I purchased this from Michaels. It's just 12 by 12 in a dark purple. But this paper pack, oh my God, I can't wait. Look at this. I love this paper. So this here was the, it's called a specialty card stock. So it came with five sheets of this light teal, light purple. There's this and the, look at this. And it's beautiful glitter paper that was in this pack. So, oh, that's white. Let me get rid of that because that's not part of this. And neither, and I bought uh, some pink because I, I want to do some more of these projects. I just need some big 12 by 12 sheets. So this paper pack came with, oh, I stuck those here somewhere where did i put them there was a light purple and a baby blue it almost looks teal where did i stick those right here i think no that's white that's pink is this all purple in here huh. oh they're over here Okay, so these are the colors. So it is like a, it looks blue, but it's actually a, a really pale aqua and the light purple. So this came in this card, card pack. So all of this, and then the specialty paper you got was this pink, really pink, pretty glitter paper. So that was one pack. So those are the pieces I used. Now I was trying to decide what, what paper I wanted to use in the next one. The only thing that sucked about this is all the edges of this particular pack are all bent, but I don't think that's really even gonna matter. See, it's stuck on there, because it's ripped. Anyway, so you got this purple, you got a light green, Got a nice pale orange and then on the back you have a white glitter paper this one is my favorite is this pink and teal specialty paper that came in which pack did this one come in so this is the pinks where's the sheet pinks and teals were in this one So it got the green, the blue teals, and there's plain metallic pink. There's the polka dotted pink flowers. Um, what did I do with the thing? I don't know what I did with the sheet like this. And then this one came with this gold that's textured too. I don't know if you guys can see it, but look at the beautiful texture on this. Love it. I wish I had silver. Because I'm going to be doing a red barn uh, from their files. And that would be really nice if it had the red barn or the metal roof. Anyways, you get five sheets of each. So there's 25, five different patterns. This one's got some corals in it. That's a, like a corally barn red. That one's different, kind of masculine. It also comes with the plain gold. So you get a couple of sheets of the textured 
But you also get just the plain. And then there was this one, which I never opened yet. So you got some sparkly green, sparkly teal, and I'm sure you're going to get um, solid ones as well. So those are the paper packs I used to cut this stuff out with. Super cute. So yeah. And there's nothing more I hate on projects. So I'm trying to figure out how I can um, Mod Podge this or spray it with a shellac. Because again, it's paper and we don't want, you know, sometimes your house gets humidity. It could distort the paper, warp it. We don't want that. So I'm thinking of spraying it with um, a clear acrylic varnish. So not these look way better. Eat up. Have to admit. Beautiful. Not sure how I'm going to do those. I'm going to have to get a little brush and do it with a little brush. Now, I know this is for the saucer, these pieces. I mean, inking them up is pretty quick, and I think that's going to look super pretty against that. Yep, look at how nice, and it's going to pop. Now, with this one here, the handles were with this these pieces to cut out, so I had to cut it out twice because I didn't bo I didn't bother going and removing the other. I just didn't feel like it, so I just cut it out twice because I wanted the handles to match the teapot. Oops, that was those pieces. Now you don't really need to ink up the solid, the solid colored pieces. I can't be bothered to do that. Now this is going to be challenging. I might have to get my little brush to get in that crevice without damaging that. Because it is very thin. If you have these little tiny brushes that might work. Let's see if this works. Yes, it does. It's very not as great as the really don't like that part. Made a mess of that. <laughs> it's covered in ink. Mess. Look at that. I didn't even need that stupid brush. So that one's not as mucked up 
as the other one. So, all right, so that part's done. Oh, video stop doing that. Um, yes, you can, Crystal. You can cut them in anything your Cricut cuts. As long as you got the proper settings for your Cricut. I got pink on my mat. And that stuff stains. Perfect. Don't like it. But yeah, you can cut chipboard with your Cricut. It's just see how some of these pieces, though, on this, on the site, some of his pieces are very, very intricate. So I would, <laughs> I would kind of be careful trying to cut intricate on it. Hang on. Lost my thing here. Now, the first thing we got to do is make the saucer. My mat's wet, so. Dry. So these ice, again, have already got the score lines, which is a blessing. They are actually a perforated line, but I'll tell you what, you try, if you have a, um, um, a score tool for your Cricut, you're going to notice that it barely um, scores it. It's not deep enough. So I like these perforated lines because it folds much nice, nicer. So I believe we need to attach our little saucer base like that. It's going to attach exactly like that. So let's get some glue on it. I need a wet nap because you're going to be wiping this a lot. I just cleaned this. What is your issue? I get you a tissue. He recommends using your finger to get right to all the edges so it seals. I see what the issue was. There was big clumps in there. So let's line this up perfectly. like the glue on the outside of that showing. 
Okay, now. We have to glue this piece inside here. Not sure how easy that's going to be. So mucking it up. So maybe I'll put the glue on the tab. I don't know. Might be easier. It's invisible. Oh, you're invisible, Cricket. <laughs> you're funny, Crystal. You are so funny. Very nice. Very nice. Now we need to glue this down. get this on here nice look at how beautiful the pieces all match just making sure everything matches up how cute is that how cute. So far we got this done. Hi, Medea. All right, let me see if I can come up a little wee bit closer. My glue is giving me a headache. Let's put our cap on it. Um, so you can see a bit better. There we go. So that's that. Now, I need to glue these guys on. Go out to the edges. Whoops, I have glue all over my mouse. Oops. And my fingers. And of course, I chose a non directional paper. It's always the best.
that. Can't be bothered to smear the blue around. I think this looks really good with it um, inked up around the edges. That one might give me a little bit of a squeeze out, so just get rid of some of that glue and wet hands from the baby wipe. How are you, my dear? How cute is that? I am great, my dear. Working my butt off at my job, but other than that, I'm great. There is the saucer. How cute is that? Now, this is the fun part. Hmm. So I believe we have to fold it this way. I think we have to bend all these this way. All these tabs. And I, I, even if this was scored, 
Hi, ribbons, papers, and lace. Hi, Debbie. Even if this was scored, I don't think it would have even pulled this easy at these score marks like this with these perforated ones. So much better. I think we have to fold these out. Yep. Maybe this way or this way. I don't know if it really matters. Let me see which way we go. I don't think it really matters. Okay. So A little too far. All right, two, three more. So, this part here is just the cup. I'll show you the teapot's cut out as well. The teapot's done in sections. And I'm going to be doing a beautiful Easter egg. Two of them actually, maybe three, I don't know. But I want to do the teapots first. All right. Well. Time to start gluing. Put a little bit of glue in here. It's a little bit much. And you're going to glue these two pieces together. You really have to line those up with the score marks like that. And then there's the second one here you gotta do. And it goes right lined up beautifully with the score marks. Basically, you want to put your glue, oops, it has to have glue right to this edge, he says, right to the edge, right there. And then you line it up, yeah, right to the edge. There, right to the edge. It's very <laughs> okay, Dab. That this here. Oh, I was going to show you guys the teapot. Okay, this is this is the teacup. All these pieces here are the teacup. This is the teapot, which is in several sections. This is an SVG file, Debbie, that you can buy from, the link is below, and you can check out, with that link, you can check out all of their 
they're um beautiful there's a lot of free stuff too um you get the svg file you get the instructions you get a uh, video on youtube on how to put it all together i'm basically trying to follow his video as you can see i'm following his video because i don't want to screw this up and uh, wreck it so this one here is the teapot so it's a teapot and a teacup and there's also to this svg file which is <clears throat> $16.99 American, or $6.99, what am I saying? $6.99, you get all three kits. Oh, you only have a Cricut Joy. Yeah, you're going to need a, a bigger Cricut for this. Because the files are, print, are, are made to um, print off of, a 12 by 12 sheet cut out cut out of the 12 by 12 sheets okay so i'm just gonna fold this back because i'm having a really hard time reaching to get that hooked in there right like that and right like that so i'm just gonna kind of fold it back pinch it and pinch this one this is the hard part is just getting this part done on the base of the cup and then the rest of it is easy peasy so I'm going to fold this down <laughs> Get that out of my way. Hold it down. And line it up with the edge. And press it. And then line this one up as well. Press it down. Yes, Grace, Grace, Grace. Hi, Grace. Long time no see. What's the good way? What's a bad way? Can't do it from that. Hold that down. Line that up. Hold it for a second just till that glue catches. This side here as well. Peasy. Okay. Name of blue. I like to turn them around just because I have a hard time doing it the other way. So it's kind of nice to get glue all over those tabs. Because that way, you know, they're not going to be sticking up anywhere or tear apart. So, put that on and join it.
Okay, last one, which is a tricky one to get glue on it. And he suggests the scrap paper. So let me grab a piece of scrap paper, put some glue on it, and use a piece of scrap paper to get into this little area here to get glue in there. And I, you know what? It works. So I'm just going to seal that one up first. Oh, shoot. Move. Let go, let go, let go. I'm going to rip it. All right, I got to do this my way. I need extra glue on there for something like, look what I did. I made it a mess. So, there. I'm just going to hold this. And just hold it for a minute. because it's got lots of glue, I really have to hold it. <laughs> I really do. And this pin hurts going straight up. I think that should be good now. Let's do this piece. This little tricky bitch. Okay. I think that might be safe now. There we go. Up. Perfectly. And I'll just hold that for a minute. Okay, so there, that's, you see where the shape is coming in and why you have to do these two tabs first. That's the, that's the reason there. So now we could just put glue on all the rest of the tabs because they're all pretty much straightforward. No. And there, like that. And then, just want to line it up, line it up, line it up, line it up, and line it up. Just like that. Easy. Too flimsy. Up. 
I love how everything just lines up. Die Die Kirby. You guys know who Die Die is. It's all her fault. This is all her fault. It is all Die Die Kirby's fault. She got me hooked in this. I don't like how this cup looks, but I don't know. I guess it's because I don't like how this looks. This doesn't look like that. I don't know. Okay. Let's put some blue on you. I went a little overboard with the glue here. Probably better to use a brush. But I don't have time to piss with the brush. Yeah, this is just 60 pound, 65 pound cardstock depth. That's a very, very thin layer of glue on all this. I went hog wild with the glue again. I think this last one's going to be challenging. All right, so glue that down. Yeah, 
Yeah, this one's going to be fun. What hands? Let's line this up there. So as you line it up, you push the tab. Line it up with the edge. I was thinking the same thing, a paintbrush, but then I, I don't have time to paint with it as it's just going to take longer and drying out could be an issue. Well, look at that. Here is the fun part. So that is the one we are definitely going to need paper with glue on it. To do definitely that one and that one. Probably didn't need that much, but okay. Looks like I got glue on the whole works. Now to line it all up. Push it down. Perfect. And Not quite there we go. Hmm. Cup of tea, anybody? How cute is that so far? Oh no. Oh no, Debbie. I'm wondering if I have, can I have a wooden dowel? Let me go see. So I'm pretty sure these go on next. There should be eight. It's kind of uh, nice all around. I think I need to trim this off a little wee bit. I'm going to trim it. I don't like that little tiny, tiny, tiny edge sticking up. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure there's scoring marks here. They go that way.
Okay, but he's showing it down here. And there is no score mark. These don't even fit here. They have to go here. Yeah, they don't fit down here like he's doing it. How is he doing it? This is what came with this. Unless they change the SVG. Because they don't fit down here. And he's putting his on. Look. He's putting his. Look. All the way down to the base. And he's leaving a rim at the top. But if you look at my pieces. If you put it down here. It don't fit. Look. It's not tapered there. It's just tapered here. And it goes all the way to the top. So I guess that's the way it is. It fits in there nicely too. So I guess that's the way it's got to go. Um, and there should be one here that's got cutouts for the handle. Which I am not seeing. What the hell? I might have screwed this up when I printed it. Let me go check the file. Because, see, this is where the handle goes, and there should have been two holes. So let me go here. Let me go look at... Go to cancel, yes. Cancel. There is nothing in there that has a hole in it. Oh, yes, there is. And I didn't print that sheet. What is this one for? See, his is different. Oh, that might be for inside. These might be for inside here. Let me just check. That would make sense. I forgot to cut a sheet. I was like, this isn't working. <laughs> <coughs> All right, so let's get rid of that one. Get rid of that. That one is already attached. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. All right. I got to go pull out the cricket mat. Or I mean, I need a piece of paper. This one here. Will this work? Should work. Martha bought me this tool. Super pumped about it. Okay, let's go to make it. Continue. All right. Okay. So these little guys are for inside the cup. Makes sense, doesn't it?
because that's going to hide the um, mess that's inside the cup. I thought, geez, that's for a nice looking cup. Look at this yuckiness you have to see on the inside. So we have plenty of room. Pause him. He's getting too far ahead of me. I'll be right back, guys. While this is doing that, I'm going to go for a break. Debbie, I'll tell you a little secret. Order yourself a cricket machine from Michaels. They're on sale. Very cheap. Go look at the price on Michaels for the they're on sale at Michaels right now. I've seen it yesterday. Just for a cricket explorer too, not the new one. Hello, Linda T. Anybody want to sport a tea? Look at how darling that is going to look. My gosh. Yeah, that really needs to be sprayed with something. I'll be right back. I need the spray coat. Okay, we have a new gate set up, so we bought baby gates. The dog cannot break them. No matter how hard she tries. <laughs> okay, now I, I'm doing this right. So this is my first time doing it, so it's understandable how easy it is to uh, muck things up here. So I'm just going to tear off these little pieces that we don't need and keep that because that's a... That's a nice big piece. And I probably could use it for something. And this morning, I cleaned every one of my Cricut mats. I took them and I washed them in dish soap, warm, hot, well, warm, not hot. Laundry, no, or no dish soap. So there is the piece. See how it's got the two holes? For the handle 
I was like, where is that piece? And this does have a double fold. So this does go right to the base properly. And it's so nice to have clean mats because everything sticks. I washed all of them. I laid them all out on my table in here, tables, and uh, let them dry. And they dried up beautifully. So where did I put the cover? Right here. I'm gonna put this back on because I don't want any dust on these. I can avoid it, especially my hair. I don't want that on it. Get off. There we go. Whatever. Okay, I'm just going to set that there. I'm done with this now. Okay, now I'm going to ink these up. And this ink I'm using is from scrapbook.com called Confetti Pink. So this one bends this way and it bends that way. See, now that makes sense that he's doing. And I was like, I, I don't have that piece because you're, uh, I forgot to cut this page. You can see it doesn't take that long. The, the biggest, the longest part to cut out was this piece. because There's a lot of cutting and a lot of um, perforated edges. So. It took a bit. That's how that goes. Welcome back, Clint. And this should line up with those holes on that cup base. So we shall see how good of a job I do. <laughs> that's the part that's going to tell us the truth. And I, he inks up all the edges on all his projects, everything. I got a windmill I'm going to do. I've got a pendulum clock I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing two. One looks like a beautiful Fabergé egg with beautiful flowers on it. And that part's going to be um, a challenge for me because I've never made paper craft flowers like this. And there's roses, there's irises, there's moms, all kind lilies. Um, lilacs, there's all kinds of flowers that um, that will be used in a lot of these pieces I'm doing. All right, so now these should fit here and here and all the way up to that part. See, that makes sense. I was really, really un not understanding what was going on here. Hello, glue. It's going to come up very slow. There we go. There's that thump. My rag here. It was a piece of hardened. Okay. Now, this is how he does it. I'm going to start here so I can do that piece last as he puts these two pieces on. That's not even lined up. Put my line up. There we go. And he puts glue on this.
cute. And he does it in steps like this, so there's a reason why, probably. So we'll just do it the way he does it. I'm not even going to smush that around. As long as you get it close to the edge, it should be good. Oh, shoot. Oh, well, this one has to go on because I already glued it. So we'll put this one on first. It does line up perfectly. My gosh. Amen. Isn't that something else? Looks like a lot of glue, but it's very thin. Very thin, very thin. Very thin. I can't tell <laughs> if it's in there or not, and it is. Perfect. much just giving me a hard time getting a shadow here and I can't see with a shadow My hands are very, very rough, and I've been creaming them. Put a little bit of glue in there. It's from the weather outside. Working outside is a nightmare. Whoa, a little much. one's kind of covered in glue. Oh, you want me to sell it to you, Medea? <laughs> of course I'll sell it to you, girl. If you like these colors. How beautiful is that? Um, 
You can see I'm not using a score tool to burnish anything down. And I'll tell you why, because he doesn't, so I'm not going to. I just don't know what burnishing is going to do to this. And how am I going to burnish this without crushing it? The shape of it. So that's probably the main reason why he's not burnishing anything down. He just uses his fingers. So that's what I'm going to do. Just use my fingers. over a wee tiny bit more. So let's re-glue here and here. Okay, I'm just going to put glue on here too because I'm scared it might not stick. I don't know how much of that glue is dried, but well, I'll fix it up. Move it over. It's very important to get these straight. So do you have to do what I'm doing? Rip it off and rip it off. Get it straight. So I guess with all these layers, it, it has a lot of good stability to it. And the, the, the lighthouse, not the lighthouse, the windmill lights up. So that's, I don't know if it lights up with a candle or if you actually put a set of lights in it, but I might put a set of fairy lights in it, in the windmill. My gosh, that one went on perfectly. Save the best for last. That is freaking adorable. That is going to be so bloody cute. Look at this. <laughs> oh, that's cute. All right, I need to see. I forgot to start the video. I need to see what he does next. If we, this goes in, <coughs> if this goes inside, or if we do the handle first. 
I'm thinking the handle first. Because I'm pretty sure that's probably going to open up inside because it does have score marks. And it's going to seal inside like that. Makes sense to me. But let's just watch his video, make sure, because I don't want to screw this up. And he's near done, so. <sighs> okay, get past that. I already saw that part. He's on the last one. So mine looks just like his. This was the one he did last. This is adorbs. I probably should have put this tab inside here on the outside. I probably did that part wrong. What do you do with that handle? Oh, he glued these two pieces together. I'm not paying attention to him. And these also have tabs too, see? I'm going to glue that. I see glue on there. So I'm just going to open that up. Open that up. Make sure I didn't glue it. Okay. Now. I am going to rub this glue on. Just want to make sure there's glue everywhere, even though it's a little wee bit, it's enough to move it around if I need to. That's good, right there. Like that. Perfect. Now, let's go from here like so. I can barely see in here. It's so dark. Grab a piece of paper. And just smooth out that glue. And I'm going to press open these tabs. Now I don't know if that's what he did because I missed it on the video. But this makes sense and glue 
that. Let's put it in. Thanks. <laughs> How cute is that? Now, these parts. I'm going to do this tough one first, which is this one. Not sure. I can even see what the heck I'm doing here inside this cup. It's really not an easy task, this part. Get it? Is the question? I get it even? No. This has to come up. How about we just do it this way? There we go. Probably wasn't easier. That was a toughie. Okay. I think I'm just going to do this tab. See if that helps. Make it easier. Gosh, wish I could have done this first, but that's impossible. Okay, I'm just going to put all the glue on it. Screw it. He's making it look way too damn easy. <laughs> it's not that easy. Yeah, that's the easiest way is to put glue on the whole thing and start from the top. Because if you start from the bottom, this overhangs down. And there's no, I can't seem to get it to just go even. So. I'm doing it my way. Of the highway. So we'll just line it up with these. And in there. Perfect. Much easier this way. Much, much easier. Much easier. You 
do you. What's ever good for you. Certainly not how he did it, but I'm finding it works this way, so. Because that way, I can line it up with all the rest of them. Line it all up. Like that. And then just push it down. And it works. Now, I think it needs some lace on this purple part before it gets glued to there. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. Look how that turned out. Okay, let's go check out our lace. Because I'm going to have to have enough to go around the teapot too, because it's got to match. Yep. Let's see what I can do for lace. Oh, body, body, please. What could be? Zoom out. Oops. So I zoom in. <laughs> that was dumb. All right. I don't know. I need something small enough. That might work. But we'll see. What else do I have here? It's too big. What's with that? Might try that one. Oh, these are big ones. Just 
don't want to mess up my lace. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to try the two smaller ones before I get digging into this box here. Let's try this one first. I really think this one's pretty. Don't you know? I have other stuff to decide. Undecided. Indecisive. Uh, not in this one. Where you be, bitch? Where you be? Not in this one. Oh boy, I wish I didn't clean my room ever. Then I would know where everything is. Is this single or triple? I need single stuff. So let's check and see. This is single or triple. Of course, it's got to go all the way to this end. Idiots, Ruby. This better be single after pulling all this shit off. blank. Where did they put them? I'm not seeing them. Oh boy, I don't know. I don't know where I put them. I must be losing my mind. This is single, not one that I have to cut. I'll be freaking bad. I can't tell. Scissors. Oh, good, it's single. Ha <laughs> ha. I like that. I really do. Okay, okay. So, 
I'm not gonna put this one on. That for sure is not going to be suitable for this. But that one might still be. This one might still be with the pearls in the middle like that. Yeah, I think that's gorgeous. I really do. It's just finding out if this is going to stay or do I have to loop it? Yeah, it's not stretchable. Well, it is kind of stretchable. So if we get to there, stretch it here. So, <coughs> yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think I should do? What do you guys think? Just the pearls? Let's see, just the pearls. So I really don't think this is going to look right. It's going to bulk. It's not a stretchy. It's not stretchy. So it's not going to work. So. I'm not going to use that. So, what did I do with all my, all my bling? I had rolls and rolls of bling. And I don't know where I put it, because I'm dumb. can't think where I put all of that. Because I'm not seeing it here. First one has to get cut off. Um, I think I'm gonna just glue it on this. Oh shoot, I forgot to put that back. Put some glue on these. Get it started. I don't want to run the glue across the top of this cup in case I go crooked and then there'll be excess glue showing. We don't want that. So I've got five done. So let's press that there like that. Actually, I really don't think it matters. As long as we keep a thin coat, bit of glue. Yeah. 
How cute is that? That is pretty. too deep there. to make this work in Let's put this piece in first. See how we can work this in like so. Yep, that's good. There's good. Now it's to get it to stack because the glue is wet. There we go. Move that on over a bit. Just keep pressing it. It's completely locked in there. I love it. Hello, Martha. Now, I am thinking I would like to Mod Podge this. So I'm going to Mod Podge it just to see how the Mod Podge takes holding up on this and if it stiffens it up some just want to wait for this glue to dry a bit before mod podging this all right put this lid back on i'm going to use this on the teapot so i'm going to just keep that out And we'll set that on there. It's not even yet. There. Put it in there. Put 
Looking good, looking good. Looking good. Looks pretty down even to me. <coughs> well, look at that. How darling. Now, I'm going to try Mod Podge on it. Don't want this right now. Wish I knew where I put all my bling. Oh, I forgot to put this back in the bag. I was going to throw this bag out. And it's for the pearls. Put that back. All right. I need get this off. There we go. Start with inside. I really think the Mod Podge is going to seal all the edges. Anything I may have not got with the glue. If you're going to do this kind of paper craft, you want to preserve it somehow. So to me, Mod Podge is my best friend. How about like that? How about no? So, the inside is all done. Let's do this handle. Now, one thing you could also do with this is you can just take a plain white cardstock, cut the whole thing out. But you would still have to cut out all the layers and glue all the layers as it is here. And then Mod Podge... Um, decoupage napkin over it and I'm sure that would turn out stunning with a napkin of course but you know it's always nice to already have it made
when they get any drips that go on that side. I have to kind of do it this way over the pearls and then fix my fingerprints. I'm just looking to see if I have any drips anywhere, any runs when I catch them. And I am actually just going to let this naturally dry because it'll dry nicer. As opposed, now I will put some on the bottom, but I don't want to do it right now. We're just going to let because I can't. I want the bottom to be sealed, especially the bottom. And I'm going to put an extra coat on just the handle because it's the most flimsiest part of this project is the handle. So we will put an extra little bit on there and let it dry overnight. Good and sealed like that. Like my little drippy there. Drip and a drip. There we go. So I believe I caught all the drips right there. And I'll do the bottom tomorrow. That way I could just lay it on top, lay it upside down. Look at that. That is beautiful. Oops, I see a big drip right here. And what's really nice is the Mod Pod is going to seal those pearls in even if I didn't get them all completely glued down. So push that down like that. There we go. I'm going to leave it alone before I get it full of the lips. There we go. See how pretty. Oh my God, that's gorgeous. Now you could put dried flowers in these. Or you can just leave them, put candies in them. I think once that Mod Podge dries, it will stiffen it up. Believe me, I promise you, it will stiffen it up. And uh, you could put dried flowers in it. You could probably put candies. I would say stuff with wrappers on it. Like you're dealing with product. Hi, Tracy. 
Yes, I'm having a tea party. Are you coming? <laughs> Are you coming to my tea party? So, yeah, I can't, I'm not going to be able to do my teapot today because I have, uh, I have housework I have to do and laundry and then back to work tomorrow. So we'll see how this looks tomorrow. And here is the teapot all cut out and ready to go tomorrow. So this is all, there's a lot more parts to the teapot than there is to the teacup. So that's why I wanted to do something small first. But the teapot has two sections that you have to attach. And then, I don't know, someday this week, I'm going to start cutting out the eggs. There's two eggs I want to make. The one's called chick, ex, no, egg, egg, ex, what is it called? Egg exquisite, and then another one's called a chick chick egg. It's so cute. Die Die made that chick chick egg. So I don't know if she has it completely finished or not, but I'll be working on this tomorrow on this part, and I'll be so happy because my house will be clean and vacuumed. And my sister Patsy's coming today or tomorrow, probably tomorrow. Definitely won't be today. But yeah, I am definitely, I probably, I probably should have sprinkled some glitter on this, but I think I'm just going to leave this alone. Good night, Grace. Just going to leave that alone for now. So anyway, I'm going to do my cleaning, guys. I want to get it all done and then I could start doing videos. I can't relax. I cannot enjoy anything the way my house looks. Believe me, it's disgusting. And I have to clean it before my sister comes or, or there's going to be shit to pay. You know, the OCD sister's coming. <laughs> that means cleaning. <laughs> anyway. God bless. Thanks for joining me, guys. I hope you like me teapot or a teacup. Sorry. It is so pretty. I, just, I love it. Can't stop looking at it. So I just think it's adorbs. I want it to sit properly too. So check that out. Hmm. There we go. Make sure it's straight. All right. Bye, everyone. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.